2012 seniors thunder into a local high school parking lot like coalition forces entering Baghdad. A substitute teacher just needs to make it to her car before breaking down in tears. And a college freshman tells his roommate there's no need to hide his masturbation from him. And now a week in review that truly requires no introduction. The nation's students announced this week that they have reluctantly agreed to give the American education system yet another chance, saying they hope educators keep their promises of smaller class size, better school supplies, and intensified efforts to raise the country's international math ranking. The nation's students vowed to give the education system one more shot, despite claiming to have been burned many, many times in the past. The FBI has successfully executed a raid on the Visa Corporation, exposing what could be the largest credit card scam in U.S. history. According to authorities, the Visa Syndicate for years fooled millions of Americans by issuing convincing-looking credit cards carefully designed to dupe consumers into spending far more money than they had. Investigators believe the fraudulent corporation also lured victims in with enticing rewards programs and free gifts, thereby trapping them in a spiral of debt they could never hope to repay. According to the results of a groundbreaking new study, 96% of humans would rather be a singing, dancing, animatronic bear. The study finds that a great majority of people on the planet would prefer to trade in their regular lives for one in which they sat on a plastic log, strummed a banjo, and sang songs on a stage with all their goofy bear friends. Respondents also stated that not being a sentient human being with feelings of doubt, sadness, and pain contributed to the decision. In sports, Penn State players and staff are all worried that they're going to be the one to kill Joe Paterno. In other news, Eric Clapton says his next album is heavily inspired by blues music, a man overcomes alcoholism without the help of Jesus, and an outcast student and a lonely teacher have begun a somewhat endearing sexual relationship. And that was a free lesson in top-shelf journalism. For more news, videos, and reminders of your insignificance, visit theonion.com newsbeat.